So, nawa po sa umagang ito. Ito po ay hindi biro-biro. Hindi po tayo na may April Fool's Day. But, uh, ginigreet ko lang po si Sister Marisa na happy birthday. Eh, may kasapa po natin siya sa ating, po, uh, sa ating uh, Zoom for today. So, mapagpalang birthday po sa inyo, Sister Marisa. And more blessed years to come. So, afternoon ba po pala sa, sa, sa Australia. Amen. Plus, uh, Um, nine yata or eight plus eight ang, ang timing po sa Australia. Praise God. So wala po tayong mga point brethren. Amen. Praise God. So uh, we will proceed po sa ating pong uh, exhortation. Very short, straightforward dahil po alam ko that uh, most of us, we are excited to 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 pray. Amen. Uh, naging bahagi po pa sa ating buhay yung pananalangin. It, it must. Amen. It must. I said the uh, the the more that we pray, the more na may establish po yung ating relationship sa Panginoon. So the more we pray, the more na magiging sensitive po tayo sa lahat ng ating mga decisions, sa lahat po ng ating mga plans. Amen. Hindi lang po tayo basta nagpe-pray just for the sake na pinapipray po natin ang ating sarili, pinapipray po natin ang ating mga mahal sa buhay. And uh, meron po tayong mga dapat pang ipag-pray. Amen. So kung hindi po tayo aware sa mga ito, I just want to share to you na po itong mga prayers na ito. But uh, mind you brothers and sisters, ano po, ang prayer po ang ginagamit ng Panginoon na na tool. Amen. Para tayo po ay uh, pagpalain, pagpalain niya. At ginagamit din po ang prayer para sa healing, sa deliverance. Amen. Ang dami pong mga bagay na if only a person ngayon, alam po nila kung ano mga benefits ng prayers, brothers and sisters, I think wala po ang manghihina sa bawat isa. So allow me just to share with you yung ating pong slides for today. Okay. Okay. So clear po ba yung ating, uh, yung ating slides? Amen. Praise God. So mapagpalang morning po sa bawat isa. So ngayon po ay April 1, 2023. Amen. We will proceed. Ito po, napaka-powerful na verse. Amen. So if you were going to open your Bible in the book of James chapter number 5 verse 16, the prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective, you know? So ang prayer po dapat meron din po yang righteousness, purity and righteousness. Amen. In order for us to conquer your mountains, in order for us na maging effective po na may output ang ating mga prayers, brothers and sisters. Ang isa sa mga bagay na na-observe po ni James is a person must be a righteous person. Amen. Uh, I know that we are not uh, we are not uh, perfect. Lahat po tayo ay nagkakasala. We fall shortly sa grace po ng ating Panginoon. But again, brothers and sisters, if James na-observe po niya 2,000 years ago that yung mga righteous person Meron po yung kakayaan, meron silang power, meron silang authority, may mga dominion sila against satanic attack. Amen. At effective po. Why don't we? Why don't we? Amen. Live a righteous life. Amen. Praise God. Kasi po, maraming sa atin, um, 
uh, we are still sa state po ng kasalanan. Ano? We don't even know na ang kasalanan, yan po ang nagbablock sa ating Panginoon according sa Book of Isaiah. Dahil sa ating mga pagsalangsang, mga magulang kapatid, kaya po hindi maabot ng ating Panginoon no? ang ating pong mga pangangailangan. Sabi nga, um, because of our iniquities, amen, the Lord's hand is short, amen. Pero sa totoo lang, brothers and sisters, kapag tayo po ay nagrepent, yan, no? repentance may kaakibat po yan ng renewal ng ating mind, renewal ng ating life, 180 degrees. Hindi po nangangahulugan that you are in the state of sin at ikaw po ay ingi ng repentance, ingi po tayo ng kapatawaran, and you are still in that state of sin. So wala po kayong ginawa. You are still in that, in that territory. Nandun pa rin po kayo sa, sa, sa playground mo, amen, na hindi po kayo lumabas, kundi lumundag lang po kayo. And still, you are being surrounded by this uh, whole scene. So ngayon po, bakit kailangan nating i-emphasize that you have to be righteous? Kahit mag-pray po tayo 24-7, kahit mag-pray po tayo every day, kahit mag-pray po tayo throughout the year, mga magungang kapatid, if you are still in the state of sin, amen, powerless at wala pong effect ang ating po mga prayers, mga magwal kapatid. Let's just open our mind. Kaya po nagiging, nagiging uh, bantulot tayo mga Kristiyano because there are certain things na ginagawa po natin justification that nagsisimba naman na po pero at the end, kung nagkakasala po tayo, amen, it's, it will not work, kapatid. The reason why meron po tayong church is to encourage us to live a holy life. The reason why we have a church to remind us, amen, that the Lord God of Israel, the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, amen, siya po ay holy. And we have to be holy according to scriptures. Because without holiness, you will never see the glory of God. Amen. So this means that when we pray with a pure heart and in faith, our prayers can move mountains, right? Kaya po pagka tayo nagpe-pray mga magulang kapatid, parang nags, 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 nagsalita lang po tayo at wala po tayong mga, mga bagay-bagay na nalalaman sa ating po mga kalaban, it's useless. So I'm telling you right now, brothers and sisters, you are facing dilemmas, you are facing your struggles, you are facing some sicknesses, you are facing some issues in life, brothers and sisters, you have to be righteous in the sight of God. Amen. You have to make a deal. Amen. Are you going to live this life na tayo po ay niluloko na lang natin ang sarili? It's your loss. No? Nagkakatin nga sa church. You feel that you are holy. You are being blessed by God. But at the end, pagbalik natin sa ating mga tahanan, inside your room, still, yung state of sin is the same. Amen. And then you pray wala po hanggang dinding lang po yung ating mga prayers. I'm not here judging people. Amen. But based sa ating pong scripture na nabasa, the prayer of righteous person may power at effective. Kaya po, kahit anong gawin natin, right, na hindi po tayo righteous sa uh, harapan ng Panginoon, we're just wasting our time. Amen. So, however, it's important to know that prayer is not a magic formula or a means to manipulate God. Right? Huwag po natin sabihin na, hindi, okay na ito. Total, nag-pray naman ako. Uh, there was a big question. Ano pa? May nag-question sa akin nun. Sabi niya, Pastor Chris, um, nag-pray naman ako. May ako na kapatawaran. Um, I think that's more than enough. Amen. But he was in a state of sin, brothers and sisters. Amen. It's like, naliligo siya. Okay. Pero hindi siya nagpapalit ng damit. No? So, ang inexpect po ng Panginoon sa atin once we repent sa ating po mga kasalanan, may transformation. Amen. Rather, it's a way for us to align our will with God's will and to seek His guidance and direction in our lives. So, kapag tayo po pray mga magulat kapatid, make sure po that uh, gaya po ng prayer ni Brother Melvin kanina, umingi muna po siya ng panalangin ng uh, ng uh, ng uh, Pagnalinis, amen, patawar mo po kami sa aming mga kasalanan 
and so on and so forth. Amen. And then God, amen, will justify, uh, make justification, amen, that you were was, amen, your sins according to scriptures. Now, prayer is a vital aspect of our spiritual life as Christians. And it's through prayer that we communicate with God. Yeah, and communicate. We seek His guidance, direction, and we are cultivating a relationship with Him. Amen. So the more we pray, the more na tayo po ay uh, nagiging sensitive, gaya ng labangkit ko kanina. The more we pray, mga mag kapatid, the more na binibigyan tayo ng guidance and proper direction ng ating Panginoon. At of course, ang benefit po niyan, lumalalim po tayo sa relationship natin sa Panginoon. Amen. And let's remember to pray with a pure heart, in faith, and with focus on God's will and His kingdom. Huwag po tayo na yung will natin, yung po, yung sinasagot natin yung ating mga prayers. You know, there are certain people, mga ganun eh. No? They are asking God sa prayer, pero nagkakaroon sila ng mga drastic decisions, yung mga aggressive decisions. They cannot wait. Amen. And then once they, they, they fail, and then, ibiblame pa nila ang God. Ano? Lord, bakit? Bakit di mo binigay sa akin yung ganito mga ganyang bagay? No, definitely you answered your prayer. Amen. So, wala pong ganun. Amen. Dapat po, we are uh, to submit our, our will sa ating Panginoon. Not your will, but God's will. So, may our prayers be powerful and effective. Ano po? Yun po yung nice kong impart sa inyo. And we may always be in constant state of prayer. Now, sometimes, uh, Pastor Chris, I've been here for the past 10 years, 15 years. Pag minsan, nawawala na ako ng mga prayers. Ano ba talaga ang dapat po natin i-guide? So, I will name some uh, of, of uh, yung pong, uh, way na aking pong ginagawa sa aking prayer life. Amen. I just want to share it with you para at least po magkakaroon kayo ng idea. Amen. Number one is pray with faith. No? Whenever we, we pray, brothers and sisters, I know that uh, some of us hindi po ganun... Uh, ka, ka, kalalim, ano po. We've been there. Ano po, dat, dati, mag-pray po tayo, superficial. And then, once you have a proper relationship with the Lord, parang kinakausap mo na lang po yung, 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 yung kaharap mong magulang or ka, ka, kaibigan or kapatid. Ano po. So, whenever we pray, brothers and sisters, dapat po naka, naka-align yung ating mental state of mind sa ating puso. Amen directly to God. Kasi, pag nag-pray po kayo na may doubt, uh, again, it's powerless. In Mark eleven twenty four, 24, our Lord God Jesus says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. This shows us that the importance of praying with faith, believing that God will answer our prayer. So, wag po tayo magkaroon ng doubt. If your sons or daughters, amen, may mga sakit at karamdaman sila, Amen. Pag nag-pray po tayo, dapat meron pong result. Dapat po may pagpapahal po. Amen. Dapat po meron pong immediate uh, change. Amen. And and to be honest, this is our working emergency. Sa emergency room, brothers and sisters, amen. Pag pumasok po na in pain ang pasyente, amen, hindi ko po siya pwedeng pauwiin with the same type ng nung, kung kailan po siya pumasok. No? Of course, you have to stabilize the patient, you have to undergo some mga procedures, and then you have to find out ano yung cause ng pain, and then you have to do um, uh, active ano po, uh, treatment na marilip ang pain, and then we will send the patient back home. Amen. Or if we failed, hindi po na correct, hindi po na, na, natamaan yung, yung, yung kanyang uh, state of illness during that time, so, meron po kaming dalawang bagay na gagawin. Either we will admit the patient, amen, to continue the treatment and to still to, to stabilize the patient or we can send the patient home. Amen. Yun po yung emergency. Kaya nga po sa si emergency, we're not seeing a cough and folds. Ano? Wag po kayong pumunta sa emergency room na meron kayong lagnat or what. These are not emergencies. Amen. These are outpatient. Amen. Kaya nga po pag minsan, even sa Philippines, ang daming mga reklamo ng mga tao, Kasi may lagnat ang anak, nangungorenta siya, amen, 40, 40 degrees, dadalhin sa emergency room, eh yung bata po, calm, comfortable. Uh, remember, Church of God, we as doctors, we are not treating numbers, we're treating patients, amen. Kaya nga po, uh, wag natin pong imiss yung ganon. So bakit ko po nabang ito? Kasi sa prayer, brothers and sisters, alam ko po na pag minsan, nagpipray tayo, and then may doubt, 
don't expect treatment. <laughs> Amen. Don't expect that God will will uh, he, uh, heal you if you yourself hindi po kayo naniniwala na there's a healing. Amen. Kaya nga po dapat pag pumasok ka sa state of prayer, amen, pag tinapos mo yung prayer mo with an amen, dapat meron na po result. Amen. Or otherwise, you have to seek yung kalooban ng Panginoon. So always, whenever you pray, pray with prayer. Uh, pray with faith. Now, pray with humility. Yan. Huwag po tayong mayabang. Ano? Huwag tayong abog na para mas magaling tayo sa Panginoon. No? Sometimes, ang mga mali ng ating mga prayers, Lord, Ibigay mo to. Lord, gawin mo to. No? We are demanding God. No, that's 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 wrong. Amen. James 4.10, we are told, humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up. Amen. So, kailangan po, dapat nandoon po, maging submissive po tayo sa Panginoon. Lagi po natin sabihin, Lord, if it is your will, let your will be done. Hindi po yung, no, Lord, dapat we have to make a deal. Lord, nag Nag-aate na ba sa Dawn Watch? nag na sa Prayer Wire? Dapat Lord, ibigay mo sa akin yung favor. Now, who are you to tell God? To dictate God? Amen. When we pray with humility, we acknowledge that God is greater than us and that we need His help and guidance. Amen. Okay, it's already 5.27. So pray with humility, pray with faith. I still have, I think, five pointers to, to share with you. Pray with persistence. Yan, maging persistent po tayo. In Luke 18 verse 1, di ba? Uh, we saw how uh, a mom nagkaroon po siya ng persistent spirit. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the importance of pers- persistent prayer. He said they should always pray and not give up. So kapag tayo po yung nagpipray, ang desire ng puso mo, brothers and sisters, is this. Amen. I know, meron pong timetable ng Panginoon, but we have to pray and not give up. Amen. Some of us, maybe, our loved ones, meron cancer. Amen. We are in a battle, nagkakaroon po ng battle sa ating mind, sa ating heart, sa ating faith. Amen. Sometimes, yes, unfavorable. The more you pray, the more na nagkakaroon ng mga problems. Amen. Sa health issues. Amen. Nag-decline po yung ating health or something like that. The Bible says you have to pray and not give up. Amen. May mga issues po tayo sa ating mga buhay that God wants us to be persistent. Amen. This shows that we should not give up on our prayers but continue to bring our requests before God. Lord, if it is your will, Lord, pagalingin mo po, makaitili ang aking kaibigan, ang aking mga magulang, ang aking mga padil po with persistence. Amen. Wag po tayo mag Amen. Tandaan niyo po, hindi po kaagad-agad yung, yung sagot po ng ating mga prayers. No? Again, let's go back, pray with faith, and pray with humility, and now, Play with, pray with persistence. And of course, dapat mo magkaroon tayo ng gratitude. No? Thanksgiving, uh, thankful heart. In Philippians 4, 6, no? do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, in every situation, by prayer and petition, with what? With thanksgiving, nagpapasalaman na po tayo sa Panginoon. Present your request to God. When we pray with gratitude, we acknowledge the blessings God has already given us and express our thankfulness. Amen. Nagpapasalamat tayo um, after praying it with faith, pray, prayer with persistence, prayer with uh, humility. Now, pasalamat po tayo sa Panginoon. Amen. That God is always protecting us and giving us wisdom. Amen. And so on and so forth. Amen. Uh, last two, I think, uh, of course, uh, we have to pray according to God's will. Not your will. Amen. According to God's will. You know, ang people po ng mga Christians... Uh, for the past 24 years na nagbe-ministeryo po tayo sa ating iglesia, was that, you know, people, they tend, uh, yes, I do agree na pag minsan po magiging, magkakaroon tayo ng positive output sa buhay. But it doesn't mean na kapag hindi po binigay ng Panginoon ang desire natin yung puso, amen, hindi na tayo mag-a-attend, stop na tayo ng mag-pray, mag-stop na tayo mag-attend sa mga gawain. So I think, uh, ang problema po is not God. Ang problema po natin yung ating attitude. So, Whenever we pray, we always tell God according to His will. First John 5, 14 to 15, we are told that this is the confidence we have in opposing God, that if we ask anything according to His will, he, is, he hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask for Him. So this shows that our prayers should align with God's will and purpose. Amen. God is always right. Brothers and sisters, hindi po nagkakamali ang Diyos. And of course, pray for others. Amen. Ito po yung isang sa mga sikreto. No? 
if you want to get healed, ang sabi po ng James 5.16, we are told to pray for each other so that you may be healed. Amen. You may be healed. Kaya pag may mga sakit at karamdaman, mag-participate po tayo. And God will always heal us. This shows us the importance of praying for others, not just for ourselves. And of course, last but not the least, we have to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. John 14, 13 to 14, Jesus said, And I will do whatever you ask in my name. Amen. So that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Amen. That's the power. That's the power. This shows the power of praying in Jesus' name and the importance of acknowledging His authority and inter intercessions on our behalf. So if we will move sa ating pong uh, unang slide kanina, in the book of James, brothers and sisters, uh, alam niyo po, si James, siya po ay isa sa mga apostles na talaga po yung kanyang knee ay bugbog. Ano po. May mga scars ang kanyang mga knees because he was uh, a powerful prayer warrior. Amen. Si James po, iyan po yung kanyang, uh, um, kumbaga, iyan po yung icon no, ni Brother James. And makikita po natin si James once we get to heaven. Amen. Praise God. So I think, uh, how many prayer requests? God is a God of order. Ang Diyos ay Diyos ng kaayusan. Mananatili po ang biyaya ng Panginoon kapag naging good steward ka. Ipamuhay po natin ang salita ng Diyos. Praise and glory, honor and strength unto our God, unto our God, matters endless, love and restraint. Oh God.